Hi everyone, it's Erin from the Provincial Farmhouse. In today's video, I have a Timu Dollhouse Miniatures Haul. I'll also be giving one of those pieces a little French country makeover. If you've been watching my channel, you'll know that I've just bought this dollhouse and have lots of plans to renovate it and also fill it with lovely French country style furniture. So I was excited to see what miniatures Timu had to offer. Timu is an online marketplace with a huge variety of products at affordable prices. Right now, you can download the Timu app via the link in my description box and get 90% off. And new users can use the checkout code DKZ3938 for 90% off. Now let's check out what I found. The first dollhouse miniature that I got was this lovely three-piece sofa set. So there is a two-seater and two single-seaters. The two-seater has two cushions. The single-seaters have a single cushion each. The fabric is very, very sweet. And of course, it came wrapped quite securely. So this is going to look really sweet in my dollhouse. If you're looking for a sofa for your dollhouse, there are a lot of different patterns that you can choose from and you can also buy them in single seaters or double seaters separately. You'll also notice that most of the furniture in today's video is at the 112 scale. The next miniature that I found is this double sink basin. So it comes wrapped up and there is also a separate little uh, Ziploc bag there with the taps in it. So in order to attach them, you'll just take them out of the container and they just very simply slide into the little holes provided on each of the sinks. There are a few different style sinks on Timu for your dollhouse. However, this one really appealed to me because it does definitely have a bit of a country vibe. The next miniature that I found is this little bedside table. They do come in a few different colors. I especially liked this white and of course the little drawers that come with it do open so you can hide little miniature things in there as well. The next miniature is this white little shelf piece, but it also comes with three drawers down the bottom. And again, each of those do open. I definitely want to have a fireplace in my dollhouse. So I was very excited to find this mantle. It also comes in white and this mahogany color. I'm thinking that I will probably paint it to suit the rest of my dollhouse decor, but this is absolutely lovely. The next miniature is this little white side table or console table, whatever you want to call it. It also has three drawers and of course each of those open as well. The next item that I found is this sweet little trolley. The wheels do spin, the little door at the front there opens and the drawer opens as well. I can definitely see this in a kitchen or any room really. The next miniature I found is this little coffee table. I thought that it was very cute, great color already. And then I found this little basket and this was really detailed, really sweet. It would look great with some miniature flowers in it. I then found this wall shelf. It even has little mini hooks that you can hang things off. I also found another wall shelf. So this one has little shelves, but it also has little drawers. So that one is designed to go on the wall. Unfortunately, with the next item I found is this bathtub. It is really sweet, but I should have read the measurements a bit better. I think this would be more suitable in a Barbie dollhouse. And it was the same situation with this toilet here. It's definitely more scaled for a dollhouse. So keep that in mind. Make sure that you check out the measurements. As cute as these are, they're just not suitable for the scale that I have. The next miniatures I have are these baking items. We've got a little bag of flour. We also have a little bowl with some mini eggs in it. It's very realistic looking. In the same pack, I also have a little baking pan. This one has a heart design on it. This one reminds me a little bit more of maybe gingerbread men. Then we have a mini chopping board. Very sweet, very realistic. We then have a little bottle of, I'm assuming perhaps oil. We then have some cooking sort of utensils. We have a mini whisk, which is very sweet. And then finally we have a mini rolling pin. 
My next miniature find was this wooden side table. I love that it's unfinished wood. We're going to be doing a project on this towards the end of the video. I just love the shape, the spindle legs, very sweet. We then have a black side table or bedside table. This has a little shelf and a little drawer. Again, these often come in a variety of colors. After that, we have a, another sort of little table here, but this one's more like a telephone table. Again, loving the beautiful turned legs. I could definitely see myself painting this too. And then for the kitchen, we have a kitchen island. This is a little bit on the largest size, but I still feel like it will work. And also it comes with some little hooks, very sweet piece for the kitchen. And then no kitchen, of course, is complete without a fridge. So this one is a white fridge with some golden handles. And then inside you can see that we do have some shelves for the kitchen or dining room i also found this table and chairs set so these are unfinished wood as well so you have four chairs one table this is the 112 scale it will be perfect in my dollhouse again i do think i will probably add a little bit of paint and the unfinished wood makes my job a lot easier so these are very very cute the next miniature i found is this white hutch definitely one of my favorites and it has some little doors and some little drawers, a lot of decorating possibilities here, and it is already white, so I probably will not have to paint this one. So I can see this going in a kitchen maybe, or in a dining room, anywhere really. Now that I've unboxed all of the miniatures, let's get onto a project. So this is the unfinished little side table. I'm going to begin by adding some blue chalk paint to the base. I'm just using a small brush there and just working that paint around all of the lovely details. Again, what really blows me away about this is those turned legs. It definitely looks very similar to, of course, a full size side table. So I'm going to continue adding that blue paint around the bottom and of course on that bottom shelf and then once that's dry I'm going to take a cream chalk paint and I'm going to add it to the top section of this table so I'm definitely going for a French country look so these colors are perfect for this particular look and the unfinished wood is making this very easy so I am going to do two coats of each of these different paints to get the coverage I want but I'm not going for full coverage I don't mind if I see some of that wood peak through it will just look like natural distressing like I like to see on full-size furniture. Once I'm finished painting the top and my paint is dry, I did water down some brown glaze and I'm going to start adding that to the top first. This is going to go over the entire table, but I'm just going to work on the top section first. So I'm just adding that watered down glaze and making sure that it's sitting in some of those crevices. And ultimately, I'm just trying to treat this like I would a regular size piece of furniture. I love using glaze to achieve a vintage and weathered look and I think it's definitely working here with our little dollhouse miniature. So once I'm finished applying it to the top section of our table, I'm going to take a wet wipe and I'm going to dab off some of the excess there. And then once that's dry, I'm going to repeat the same process on the base of our table. It's going to be a little bit more subtle on the blue section, but it will still add to the weathered and worn look that we're going for. Once I am finished adding the glaze to the legs of the bottom section, I'm also going to get that little shelf down the bottom as well. And once I've done that, I'm going to take that baby wipe again and we're going to do a bit of dabbing off of the excess and letting that dry. I also added a few little random stamps to the table that I got from Timu as well. And here's our finished mini French country table. This was such a fun project. I can definitely see myself doing a similar look on the other dollhouse pieces that I got from Timu. Let me know what you think of this miniature makeover in the comments. And here's a little peek at some of the other miniatures in my dollhouse styled up. A special thank you to Timu for sending me all of these absolutely adorable dollhouse miniatures. 
You'll find links for all of these miniatures in the description and remember to check out that discount code and link as well. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to hit that like button, comment and to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.